In this video, we will continue with solving logarithmic equations. You will find this on page 404 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. And again, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, here it is. Solve the simultaneous equations, okay? So I give you this one, and I give you this one, okay? Now, I'm, I'm but first also going to simplify this, so I'm, I will now go to simultaneous. So this is one term, one term. If I use that power law, it's jumping up, then I can put this equal to this. So there's my first equation. In this one, I go from exponential for a logarithmic form to exponential form. So... I keep the 4 and I swap this, okay? And then this is becoming 1, are you with me? And then, uh, okay, I took it over, so 1 minus 9, so it's negative 8 minus x equals y. Okay, doesn't matter. So this is a linear equation, and this is a quadratic equation. So you cannot solve it by using elimination. You can only use substitution. So substitute equation 2 into equation 1. Okay, I have y. So in the place of y, I substitute. Then I come to a quadratic equation and I solve the quadratic equation. I get x is 4, x is negative 2. And then substitute this in for the first one, this for the second one. Okay. So let's test. x is 4 and y is... So when x was negative 4, y was 12. When x was... Negative 2, y was this. But let's first substitute and, and, and re replace both. So I put the x, I put the y, okay, and I get this. It's fine, it's going to work, okay? But I also put it in the other equation, in this one. So I substitute, it's also fine. But if I look at this one, okay, negative 2, negative 2 and 6, in this one, uh, uh, there I get a negative. It's not work. If I put it in this one, it's working, but both of them must be correct in order to go with that pair of answers. So hence, the only solution will be x is 4 and x is negative 12. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 11 number B. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number B. Okay, solve the simultaneous equation. So this is number B, and it's xy is equal to 81. I cannot do anything. I will just make x or y the subject of the formula. I'll do it now. I just want to get a line, see if I can write it next to each other. And this one was log, okay, this was, oh, sorry, I just want to get my pen correct here. So this one was log, my pen and that small is an x and it's a y and it's three okay so in this case we are going to go from logarithmic to exponential form so x to the power of three is equal to y okay so in this one what will we make the subject let's make y the subject so y is equal to 80. I decided y because it was alone, it was not to the power of 3. So y is 81 divided by x. So let's call this equation 1, this equation 2. And then we say, we say substitute uh, equation 1 into equation 2. Doesn't matter. Okay, but I'm going to now take 1 and I put it in there. So I'm going to get x3 and that is going to give me 81 over x. Okay, so what do we do now? We cross multiply. So this will be x to the power of 4 is equal to 81. Okay, now because 18 and 1, it's very easy. I could do it without a calculator. I'm just going to go to my prime factors. So if I divide 3, then I get 27. Then I divide 3, I get 9. If I divide 3, 3, 3 to the power. Most of you know it was x to the power of 4 
equals 3 to the power of 4. Now, you must not forget, you're going to take note the fourth root. Now, for all the even numbers, this, if we were taking the square root, the fourth root, the sixth root, you must always say plus minus. The odd numbers, it's not necessary. So, there's the fourth root, and it's 3 to the power of 4. The reason why is that because it's an even amount, the, the negative signs, if it's negative, the option, it will come to a positive, or if it's positive, it will be a positive. But in this case, it's going to be plus the positive plus minus 3. Okay, so that is your value. So don't forget these two options. Now, substitute... Substitute x equals plus minus 3 in equation, and let's see what equation will work nice. Doesn't matter which one, both will give you the same. Um, I'm, I'm looking for y, yes, in equation 2. I think 2 is nice, but it, you can also substitute in 1. So basically, I'm getting then y is equal to x to the power 3. So, if it's positive 3, it's 27, or y is equal to x to the power of 3. So, if it's negative 3 to the power of 3, I just want to get my pen correct, then it's negative 27. Okay, so there's your two sets of options, but now I must check. Now, if you look at this equation, this is not the problem. Only the log one, will be, it will work in, all, all the solutions will work in that one, but the log one will determine if it's a solution or not. So, if I'm going to go for my check, let's check first. So, don't forget, when it was positive 3, then it was positive 27. And if when it was negative 3, it was negative 27. And that... This was my, this was every time my x values, and this was my y values. Okay, so check. Now, if I check in this log one, uh, log, the x, what will it be? P positive 3, and the y, what will it be? 27, uh, and that is 3. That is correct. That's correct. So definitely, this positive option is correct. But look what happens. If you are going to say log negative 3, negative 27, no, that's not going to be equal to 3. So that option is not going to work. And then you're going to end and say, therefore, the only solution when x is positive 3 and y is negative, oh, positive 27, and that's how you solve it.